Today, the students are going to be exposed to the electromagnetic spectrum, and we're going to learn four new terms. We're going to learn fluorescence, phosphorescence, and chemiluminescence. It's cool. It's awesome. It really teaches us some stuff. I'm Bill Coberts. I'm a professor at the University of Massachusetts Medical School in the Biochemistry and Molecular Pharmacology program. Ms. Brennan and I were able to get an award, um, a $500 grant, so we could bring science to fifth grade boys and girls in, in our community. Science in the fifth grade is exciting. I mean, there's lots of um, different parts to it. We do a lot of earth science in fifth grade, a lot of physical science. And so we don't always necessarily have time for chemistry. And so I think that that's something that working with Bill this year has really helped in this classroom. They, you know, we don't have a whole lot of time to do it. We don't have a lot of resources to do it. Oh, that's cool. At this age, they're not excited about science anymore. So what I've done today is actually help the kids understand the difference between their glow and the dark stars, which is phosphorescence, or their chemiluminescent uh, bracelets and bandages that they you know, wear or, or when they go out trick-or-treating. Uh, and then they even got to see a little fluorescence today, which is something they don't get to see, but I think they pick up on it really quickly because once you teach them the other two, the third comes along for the ride. Oh, do you see that? It's two ways. Like it's bending and then coming off the left and then coming straight back at my eye. We're actually working on diffraction and using jello because we can follow the diffracting light through the actual jello as long as the jello is red. It's really important for them to have the hands on experience, and then pedagogically, it's important for them to physically be doing something because that makes more of an impact than just watching something. You actually get to test it out instead of just like somebody telling you it. We have Professor Bill over in our classroom so he makes or teaches us yeah. It's great to have him come in here and work with them and they get to see you know oh maybe this is something that I would want to do maybe this is something that is in my future.